Hello students, welcome back to JJ's physics class. Today we are going to solve some problems based on average speed, distance travel and time taken. Let us start. Question is, the velocity time graph of SUV is given below. The mass of the SUV is 1000 kg. First question, what is the distance travel by the SUV in first 2 seconds? Second part, what is the braking force at the end of 5 seconds to bring the SUV to stop within 1 second? The graph is given here. As you can see that we have the time is along the x-axis, velocity is along the y-axis. So there is a increase in its velocity. Then it is constant. Again it is decreasing. What is the distance travelled by the SUV in first 2 seconds? How do we calculate this distance travelled by the SUV in first 2 seconds? So what we get here? We get this triangle. How to calculate? So area under this line gives the distance travelled by the SUV in first 2 seconds. How do we calculate? Half into, so we, they have given here AE times B E half into length into height so length is A E that is 2 seconds and B E so calculate this what we get half times A E is 2 times B E nothing but the velocity that is 15 meter per second so you get it as 2 will get cancelled so the distance travelled by the SUV is 15 meter. This is the first part. Second part, we have to calculate the braking force. So we know that the force is equal to mass times the acceleration. We have the mass. Mass is 1000 kilogram. But what is acceleration? What is the braking force at the end of 5 seconds to bring the SUV to a stop within 1 second? You can see that the speed is decreasing so it is a negative acceleration. So we have to calculate the acceleration from this graph. So acceleration is slope of this line CD. A is equal to slope of the line. How do we calculate the slope? That is, so initial velocity minus final velocity. So here, the initial velocity is here. So u is equal to 0 meter per second and final velocity v is equal to 15 meter per second. And the time difference, what you get? 1 seconds. So what we get? Initial velocity minus final velocity divided by 6 minus 5 minus 15 divided by 1 which is equal to minus 15 meter per second square that is a unit for acceleration now we can calculate the force so f is equal to mass 1000 kilogram multiplied by 15 so there is a negative value here so which is equal to minus Newton. That is the unit. The question here is on a 120 kilometer long track, a train travels first 30 kilometer with a uniform speed of 30 kilometer per hour. How fast must the train travel for the rest part of the journey so as to average 60 kilometer per hour for the entire trip? So we know that average speed or v average will be is equal to total distance traveled divided by total time taken from this we can calculate for 120 kilometer that is for the entire journey total time taken for the entire 120 kilometer total time taken let us denote that as t which is equal to total distance traveled 
total distance traveled divided by average speed so which gives t is equal to total distance is what 120 kilometer divided by average speed is 60 kilometer per hour that gives 120 kilometer divided by 60 gives 2 hour so the total time taken is 2 hour next we will calculate the train travels for first 30 kilometer for first 30 kilometer so let us let us calculate the time taken for first 30 kilometer here the speed is given for first 30 kilometer is 30 kilometer per hour let us denote first 30 kilometer as t1 which is equal to again total distance divided by speed so here for first 30 kilometer the distance traveled is 30 kilometer divided by average speed is 30 kilometer per hour which gives 1 hour so let us take this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 what is the total time taken will be sum of the time taken for first 30 kilometer plus time taken for the remaining 90 kilometer for remaining 90 kilometer t is equal to t1 plus t2 so t1 plus t2 which implies total time we got 2 hour which is equal to 1 hour that is t1 we calculated plus t2 now we get the time taken for the remaining 90 kilometer t2 is equal to what 2 hour minus 1 hour will give 1 hour so we got the total time taken and we also know the distance travel from this we can calculate the speed speed is nothing but distance traveled divided by time taken what's the distance traveled 90 kilometer divided by 1 hour so which means speed is 90 kilometer per hour so the answer is 90 kilometer per hour thank you